Please describe the Bevan Black brand and who you are. The Bevan Black brand is DJ. Yeah. He's a video photographer. He's a talent scout and he's an actor as well. And that's who I am. <laughs> All right, then tell us more about where you grew up and when music entered your life. Okay, I grew up in Atlantis and I grew up in Wellington. My father used to have a church and I was a drummer in church and that's where the music journey started. Like I was very young when I started by Red Atlantis and then Red Atlantis took me to the next level. As a DJ from Cape Town, what is the advantages of remaining in Cape Town and not moving to Johannesburg to chase your dreams? The advantages of, of being in Cape Town I think I've made my name basically in Cape Town. My name is uh, well known around high events, um, high clubs, and also social media platforms as well. Uh, the disadvantage, if I go to Joburg, I will say Joburg, yes, it is the place of dreams, but it is quite hard to to break in the industry in Joburg because in, yeah, the competition basically is so stiff that side of the world and also you also need to know people in the industry in Joburg to make it in certain type of clubs it was quite hard for a fresh DJ to go to Cape uh, from Cape Town going to Joburg and not giving them something fresh with all the other DJs is already doing so um, the advantage for me staying in Cape Town there's a lot of opportunities in a lot of platforms in Cape Town than as Joburg is so, are you just a DJ or are you a producer as well? I'm just a DJ basically. I'm not a producer. I have my producer called HDJ Skelly. Uh, he's all the way from uh, West Coast. Okay, and uh, how would you describe your sound as a DJ? My sound is very unique. You get hip hop DJs out there, you get house DJs, you get trap DJs, you get dancehall DJs, you get all different type of DJs. Me, I have a variety of taste of music so my music is very uh it's very mixed up basically do you have any um any uh, work that we can look out for that's coming up okay last year we dropped a mixtape called the beginning of the new end around 31st of um, 2016 that actually is applicable to 2017 and uh, then after that we dropped ashley carter my name is uh, my name is Mr. Carter. Um, hosted by SDJ Scully and myself. Then we also done another one hosted by SDJ Black. Name has been given from SDJ Scully. <laughs> the art in everything. That was uh, also a compilation of something variety of remixes and things he has done over the last five years. And then we have the new mixtape coming out, also the twentieth of March. The beginning of the new end the second edition also hosted by myself dj bevan black and hdj scally the question is bevan black what makes you african inspired i feel that the music basically makes me feel uh, more african inspired if i listen to the african type of music like the zimbabwean type of dance or nigerian type of music uh, congolese type of music also South African type of music as well and the the hip hop culture the house culture um, yeah I would say the music what makes me feel even more proudly African okay this is a nice question for you um, can you tell us the craziest thing that's ever happened to you while DJing or while you were in the studio <laughs> <laughs> yo this is, this is a tricky one okay about three years ago, I was the DJing in a Chowbuk bar in Long Street. I was having a couple of songs where I was busy mixing. The crowd was going wild, people jumping up and down in front of me. And as I'm about to tr uh, drop Snoop Dogg, drop it like it's hot on my next song, my laptop says, shut down. And the music is busy going, sh it's just busy going off. Like, it's just like... Pfft. You know, and like, <laughs> and then everybody's like, "What's happening?" <laughs> so I was like, "Ah, my laptop is switched off." So yeah. And you brought it back, though. Yeah, I definitely brought it back. Uh, just like two minutes after that, but I, my downfall and also very embarrassment moment of that was 
when most of most of the people, half of the people in the club actually left the oh. dance floor. Yeah, that happens to the best of us. <laughs> um, uh, you collaborate with artists from all walks of life, from Zimbabweans, Nigerians, and uh, can you tell us how how do you pick the people you work with? First of all, sometimes I've been recommended by people from all type of walks of life. People come to me and they see what I've what I've been doing. And sometimes I always look at people's outlook of life and how they present themselves if they if they are musicians from from Zimbabwe or Nigeria or whatever. I look at their social media, I look at their Facebook, I look at their Twitter, the Instagram, the Snapchat, and that basically tells me how they are built around their music. Are there any advantages or disadvantages in working with? international artists artists from out of the country okay the advantages like one i can mention i have an artist called ashley carter he's from zimbabwe he is a r&b um pop type of artist the advantages from him he comes into south africa with a different type of mindset of music how he wants to project his life and while we also created the mixtape at the same time as well. The disadvantages on that is that he's from Zimbabwe. He's as a lamb language barrier with him. Um, sometimes I don't understand what he says. And also the way of how he grew up into the music industry is also sometimes a disadvantage. DJ Bevan Black. Can you name your top five DJs? <laughs> okay, so I got my top five DJs um, that is local and international all mixed together in the top five. So my number five DJ will be DJ Charisma, the international um, DJ. Number four will be Ready D, which is one of my all-time favorite DJs. Um, number three three will be dj drama mm. and uh, he's also one of the the hip-hop majors out there internationally and second of all um a local dj is called uh, my favorite producer it's hdj skelly <laughs> he's on my second list and then last but least because they don't want us to have winners and they don't want us to win so we're gonna have dj Khaled as my number one dj you're the best, baby. <laughs> <laughs> What's one club in South Africa that you would like to DJ in? Wow. There's actually two. Ah. If I if I think about it right now, there's two. But my number one one, one will be for uh, Cape Town will be Semi Beach. Semi Beach. Beach Club is one of the most expensive clubs in Cape Town. Exclusive and actually hidden away from all other clubs. It's very, very exclusive. It's expensive to come in as well. And DJ Black Coffee is in there as well. So, yeah. What's one of the countries in Africa that you would like to perform in? Whoa. I recently had a, uh, uh, um, a call from a promoter from Mozambique. And if you are listening out there, promoter, you know who you are. Mozambique is one of my places I would like to do some festivals and some gigs as well. It's beautiful out there. Beautiful. Love the place. As a male DJ, can you tell us some of the challenges you face? The challenges for a DJ as myself is that every day there's always new DJs coming up. So every day the, the people out there is trying to improve themselves. So only thing what I like to do is basically giving people fresh things, fresh material, always staying on the fresh side of my events, my posts. Um, what I put out there. So everything I would like to give to people, it's fresh ideas, fresh tunes. Do you have any advice for up and coming DJs and producers out there? This is one thing I would like to put out to all youngsters out there. Once you really know what you want in life, go out there, like especially youngsters in high school, if you are into music, if you're a rapper, you're a singer, whatever, 
go to certain type of places where you know in your in your hometown or in, in your hood where you see that people are busy rapping or they're busy dancing join them and join the force grow the music even more you know people around you let them actually give you all the opportunities you need and guys please do not ever 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 think that opportunities is for free opportunities comes once in a lifetime if you see opportunity take it with both hands don't ever stop believing in what you want to do okay so from a male's perspective why do you think a lot of female djs are struggling to enter the industry even though the talent is there i think for for male and female uh, there is actually a big challenge for them to break into the industry i think the females they have a more upper hand in this industry it doesn't matter if you have the talent or not i think females always have the upper hand so i think sometimes they just need to persevere in what they believe because it is a high demand in south africa and in the world to get female djs I started out basically in a yard playing for some rasters jumping up and down. <laughs> I didn't know about music at the time and I was DJing on two um two DVDs and an amp and speakers. That's basically how I started guys. And then because my hype was so high, my hometown Radio Atlantis actually hollered at me and they told me that they got the slot for me and then from there everything was just this gave me opportunities, you know. And then I had a friend who passed away about a couple of years ago. Uh, my uh, soul rest in peace who taught me the basics of DJing. And then from there, the rest is history. And how long has now you been in the game? I've been in the game for almost over 10 years now. Yeah, I would say more. It's going 11, 12 years now, really, that I've been in the game. <laughs> it's important to think as a brand when it comes to being a DJ so how do you constantly make sure that your brand is growing constantly for my brand growing is um, always giving people new material first of all posting out uh, events what you are busy doing where you're going to be your geek guide, the way you present yourself on social media, if it's Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, um, etc., you know, YouTube, it's always about how you present yourself and continually to grow. Always give people fresh ideas, fresh opportunities, fresh music. Music is life, I never forget that. Shout outs that you want to send out to the world? First of all, DJ Cola, I want to give a shout out to you for African Inspiring Dreams for giving me this interview. Actually, asking me quite a couple of difficult questions. <laughs> and I want to give a shout out to uh, HTJ Skyly as well for helping, helping on this. You guys are amazing. And uh, yeah, people out there, Zimbabwean people out there, do not ever give up on what you want to do Raven Black where can we find you on social media on the, on the internet on the line on the line okay Facebook is DJ Bevan Black and then on Instagram is Bevan Black uh, on Twitter uh, at DJ underscore Bevan Black and my snap and Snapchat is uh, double B snap which that means Bevan Black snap yeah and that's basically where you can catch me yeah <laughs> so guys don't even forget about my new mixtape what i'm going to be dropping very soon 20th of march as well that's my birthday coming up the beginning of the new end the second edition hosted by dj bevan black and produced by hdz Kelly. yes oh, thank you so much bevan for allowing us to interview you i want to like to thank uh, african inspiring dreams for giving me this opportunity so that we can talk about what needs to happen in the game and what we can change in the game 
and all the the interesting uh, questions I got from from you guys. I want to thank you guys very much for that, and I hope to hear from you guys soon again. And uh, guys, do do not ever give up on winning, because winning is the key. Because they don't want us to win. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna win all over, all over the world, all over Africa, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Nigeria. We just keep it local and local is lacquer.